Hello everyone, welcome back to The Gaming Flu and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. The first descendant is having crashing issue, it won't launch or not launching, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, black screen issue which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix it. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this particular trouble. What we need to do is we just need to do a simple restart on your system. So just go over here in the start icon, go to the power icon over here, do a restart. Once restart is done, try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So many of the users end up in having this trouble. So instead of launching it from Steam, try launching it from the installation folder. So just go over here, right click go to the properties install it file and just click on the browse now from here what happens is if you go back you'll be able to see that is this pc new volume d steam library steam amps common the uh, first descendant steam beta so this is the application so you just need to launch the game so this might be working so you can try this out as well next one is all about even after launching if it's still it's not working hence we're in the installation folder we can try two more steps and one among them is we can run the game as an administrator. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to show more option. We have to go to the properties, compatibility, click on uh, run this, uh, sorry, not this one, run this program as an administrator, go for apply, go for OK and see whether the issue is solved. Still, it's not working. You can try one, one more step that we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So just go, uh, click over here, go to the show more option, properties, compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode and we have to set this to Windows 8 first, go for apply and go for ok. If that is not working, we can set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for ok as well. So once you set this up, we just need to close this, we just need to go back and we just need to try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is, we just need to uh, make sure the date, time and region should be correct. For this we just need to go over here in the search, navigate to settings. Now from here go to the time and language, go for date and time. Make sure both the time and time zone should be correct. This has to be turned on which is very important. Just go back, go to the language and region. Now from here make sure that you have to select the geography according to your country. So if you are from India, you have to select India. If you are from United States, select United States. Once after this is close this and we have to go back, try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is, we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. When you launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab, you have to keep in mind this did work it for many users. I don't know how this is working, but this did help it, uh, help it many users. You can try this out as well. So once afterwards still the issue is there, we can try deleting, deleting the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, go to the uh, documents, uh, navigate to my games and over here you will be able to find the folder. Once you started playing the game and saving it in each progressions and you will be having this. So keep in mind, when you delete the saved game file, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. So just uh, delete it. Once afterwards, you just need to close this and we just need to go back, try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search. We have to go for the control panel, go for system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow and import feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to uh, the descendant. So keep scrolling down. So you'll be able to find the descendant over here. So uh, the first descendant is already there, it is the cross play uh, beta is already there as you can see. Make sure both the private and public should be marked. So imagine the game is not here and how we can add it. So just click on the change settings, go for allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC, go to local to Steam, go to Steam library, Steam apps, common, scroll down and navigate the first descendant Steam beta, select this one and go for open and add it. I'm getting the error because it's already added. That is why I'm getting the error. So once you after this, just close this, just go back, try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, close all the overlay application because when we launch the game, I'll be showing you 
if you go back to the task manager and right click and go to the task manager over here you'll be able to see there are 50 sorry 50 apps running in the background so all these things running in the background at the same time when you're trying to launch this game you'll be having the crashing and all these kind of issue so just remove the unwanted things and the main one is all about this code which comes in the category of overlay application and the reward tuner msi afterburner which all these comes in the category of overclocking application so remove everything from here once afterwards just close this go back try launching the game once again next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with many peripherals on the system uh, controllers will be there joystick will be there and many will be there so uh, just remove everything from there which is very important and once after launch the game and once the, you are into the game, you logged in, you are fine with the game. Now connect back the controller if you wanted to play with the controller and that will be working fine like a charm. And it did work it for many users, you can try the same. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to go to system configuration, services, go for disable all, hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK, go for restart. So restart is very important. So I'm going to go for exit without restart because, uh, you know, uh, we are in the middle of sharing. So the users who are watching this go for restart and once afterwards try launching the game. Next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties, go to the install it. Sorry, uh, we need to go over here in the uh, controller, not general. Make sure this should be turned it off. If it is turned it on, we have to turn this off. Once afterwards, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one, we have to give the commands in the launch option. So just go over here for the command. So the command is we have to give the first one that is dx11. dx11 is the first command and we have to try launch the game. If dx11 is not working, try with dx12 and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. So you can try with the DX11 or DX12. Any one of the thing has to be done. And once you launch the game, you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is just need to, uh, you know, uh, run the game on dedicated graphics card, which is a very important step. That is, we just need to go over here in the search before the graphics settings. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to the descendant should be added. So if not added, we'll add it by default. So just go to the browse. Now from here go to this PC, go to local disk Steam, go to Steam library, Steam apps common. Now from here scroll down and navigate to the first descendant Steam beta. Select this one and go for open and add it. So once you add it, just go to the option and set this to high performance and we have to go for save. This is very important, you have to set this to high performance. Close this and we have to go back, try launching the game. Next one, we need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search. Go for view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab settings once again advanced once again go for change if you mark this you will not be able to select the local disk so uncheck this select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is d go for the custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so just go over here Go to the calculator, so type RAM that is 32GB, multiply it with 1024, that brings you 32768 and we have to multiply it with 1.5, that brings you 49152. So copy this, paste it. Next one for the maximum size, 32GB, multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3, that is 98304. So just copy this, paste it as well. Once you set this up, just set everything okay and once afterwards try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is just need to, we just need to update the graphics card so just go over here in the search i'll be providing link in the description to the nvidia first go to this particular link now give every detail like your product type product series product operating system language etc go for start search and over here you can see the uh, the uh, driver version is 537.34 and which is released on September 12, 2023. Download this, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one, if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select everything, graphics, AMD, and everything should be selected and go for submit. And if you're on Windows 11, 64-bit edition, download this one. 
If you're on Windows 10, 64-bit edition, download this one, install, restart is a mandatory and try launching the game. Next one, if you're on the, you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing the link in the description So just go over here. If the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one as well. And once after try with this, most probably the issue has to be fixed. And even if it's still, it's not, we just need to try a few more steps. Just go over here in the search, go to the settings, go to the Windows update and make sure the Windows is up to date. This is what we have to do. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, just close this, go back and try launching the game. Next one, we have to uninstall the game. So just go over here, go to the manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on the same local disk from which uninstalled. Try new local disk. <coughs> Last and the least one, we need to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties and we have to go over here. Sorry, go to the install it file. Just click on the verify integrity of game file. This is going to take a little bit of time. So once uh, you just click on this one, every file should be cross-checked and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, <coughs> all these kind of issues will be fixed. Afterwards, try right, launching the game, that will be working fine. So these are the possible workaround and I hope this video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.